Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm extremely excited because I'm going to be talking about a new boot brand that I've never covered before. This is going to be JK Boots. Now, in doing research for this video, I looked up Rose Anvil. He did a really popular video on JK Boots. It's got like a million views. Pretty crazy. And then Carl Morawski, he also reviewed his JKs. So, at this point, there's so much out there on JK, not to mention JK also has their own YouTube channel. They're also very active on Instagram. They've got a very interactive website as well with a very comprehensive sizing guide. So I don't know how much I could honestly contribute to the discussion really other than to rate these boots uh, that I see before me and to talk about them and just to give my general thoughts. So once again, if you're interested in more information on JK, tons of more information out there for you. What I'm gonna be giving today is just my own opinions, really. <laughs> These specifically are going, going to be the JK 300X boots in black. Now let me read a little bit, bit about these. So these retail at $379 full price. And before I really get started, these are gonna be on sale on my website. Uh, these were worn probably once. The soles are in great condition. These were sent to me by my buddy William Hall. He actually sent me a whole slew of boots, including Thursdays and others, uh, but this is by far the creme de la creme of what he sent me. And so go check out my website, dalesleatherworks.com. Under the boots tab, I've got a lot of used boots that people have sent me both to sell off for them. I'm getting, a, my stock is getting a little up there. So any purchase will be greatly appreciated. Thank you uh, for clearing out some of this inventory. I'm gonna be selling these once again for William as well as some of his Thursdays. And with every boot purchase, I will include some kilties. In this case, I'll probably throw in some of my black Chrome Excel kilties to go with these. These are a size seven and a half. According to the JK Boots description, Americans needed an effortless everyday boot, so we built the 300X model in honor of the 300 million hardworking individuals that build up our nation. I actually don't know if all 300 million of them are working, but I like the sentiment. <laughs> Made by hand with quality materials to feel incredible from the moment you slip them on till the moment you almost forget to take them off. So comfortable right out of the box that you will want to wear them everywhere. Each set of 300 boots is meticulously handcrafted in our Spokane, Washington facility using only the highest grade American leather, NFPA rated materials, Vibram Red X fire soles, and stitch down construction. This attention to detail means your JK work boots are built to keep you comfortable and safe, providing real comfort on and off site. So this is going to be a six inch shaft. The uppers are smooth five to six ounce premium oil tanned USA leather. They don't list the tannery. The thread is high strength NFPA rated. I assume NFPA means National Fire Protective Agency rated. Technora fire resistant over 900 degrees. Wow. Hardware is traditional brass high quality eyelets and speed hook combination. Insole is a genuine oak tanned USA leather. Midsole is rubber. Art support is USA leather. Sole is a Vibram 132 unit sole. Red X fire sole. The adhesives are NFPA rated adhesives throughout the boot construction. They are resolable, 100% handmade in the United States of America. Another unique thing, they have a warranty on these boots. They'll fix any defect within the first 12 months of receiving the boots. They'll cover defective materials, construction, or incorrect boot specifications. And yeah, once again, JK, they're very popular. I haven't jumped in to JK just because uh, I don't know much about them. I've never owned any myself, but they do have a very interesting history. Their owner, there's a really good video on their YouTube channel of the owner being interviewed and he goes into his history growing up in, in Eastern Europe and being in the military and then coming to the US and building a boot brand. And so a uh, very cool story there. I really like it. Let me read a little bit about what William said to me about these. So these are the JK 300 X black soft toe boots. When I ordered them, I followed the size guide on their website. I typically wear a 10 and a half D and their size guide suggested a seven and a half at the time. They fit almost exactly to my foot length, but were too tight across the arch and toe box. They have since changed the sizing on their website. From the time I ordered them, I got emails welcoming me to the JK family, roughly how long the boot making process would take and updates informing me what stage of the boot making process they were in with videos attached explaining what that entailed. I've included the paperwork and the oil that came with the boots. They're essentially brand new. The only wear is the creases in the leather. Brand new, these are 379. I think 350 would be reasonable. 
I'll list those on my website. All the boots that I list, initially they might be higher, but if you wait, that price may come down depending on whether or not there, there's any interest. And I'll talk to the owner of the boots as well about reducing the price because sometimes it is hard to sell used boots. But in this case, these are mostly new. I mean, look at the sole, there's no, there's no wear down on the sole at all, on this Vibram Lug Commando sole. Very light creasing. These are probably worn once. Uh, wow, going from a 10 and a half to a seven and a half. Yeah, that sounds like that would have not worked out. Now it looks like JK seems to be recommending going the full size down from Brannock in a general sense. Uh, so regardless, you do want to size down. Me personally, I'm a size nine Brannock. I'd probably try these boots in a size eight or eight and a half. These seven and a halfs do look kind of small. So probably the eights would be good. I think if I were to try JK, probably eight or eight and a half. I'm not sure yet. I wear eight and a half in the Pacific Northwest boots like whites and Knicks. I'm an eight and a half in those. Uh, I probably could go down Grant Stone style to an eight E, do the full size down, go up a width, something of that nature. But JK does have a really useful sizing guide. I do have to say that's one thing that's unique about them. They have an amazing size guide on their website. It's interactive. You put in foot dimensions, you put in your Brannock and it recommends, you'll have to measure your foot, but it'll give you an on the spot recommendation. So no human involved in that equation. JK is also Pacific Northwest, which they do make some of the best boots. Here are my NYX Nobleman's Apothecary NYX Collab swashbuckler boots really love these boots they're absolutely amazing they've got this tall arch here uh, these are in a size eight and a half let's compare the eight and a halfs to the seven and a halfs not a good comparison because of that arch support <laughs> the arch support is going to make it make the length appear to shorten a little bit i learned a lot about the logger construction the logger heel construction the, the the purpose behind this basically in the pacific northwest if you're hiking up mountains this high arch will provide relief when you're walking uphill it will provide you relief and the other thing is is it gives you a really strong pivot point if you're you know walking through the woods and you need to balance your weight all on one point then this will definitely come in handy these really thick logger heels well in this case this is a packer heel but you know what i mean the the high uh the raised heel there. Um, these do not have that. These 300X boots are going to be much more of just a standard boot, a standard traditional boot. Now, they do come with the fire protective service ratings. You know, this leather, it's not super duper nice stuff. To me, it feels like a standard oiled work leather. It's not super thick, it's really soft. The toe isn't uh, even structured. The toes completely collapsed. There is some structure in the heel though. It's stamped on the side, Custom Boots JK Spokane. You know, honestly, what this leather reminds me of is the leather used in my Thursday Explorer boots here. If you told me these were the same leathers, I would believe you. Now these Thursday Explorers, this black leather was sourced from Lafarque Tannery in Mexico. Both are on a Vibram Lug Commando sole, but the Vibram uh, outsole that Thursday uses is a little different. But looking at the sizing, so these eight and a halfs on the Thursdays fit me perfectly. And it looks like the JKs are just a half size smaller. So yeah, so maybe this, the full down is correct sizing. When I look at these, they look just a little small. Yeah, I'm trying to line the heels up perfectly, but it does appear to me that the toe box is about a half size shorter in length on the JKs. I should probably do right boot, right boot, shouldn't I? Yes. Okay, there we go, yeah. To me, the JKs look definitely a half size shorter when I do right boot, right boot. So yeah, like I like this leather, but I'm not super duper impressed by it. It's not got that really amazing like Horween smell about it. It doesn't have that small batch boutique tannery smell about it. It smells very, you know, sort of like a generic. I'm sure it's good stuff, you know, it's, it's gonna be good stuff, but to the hand feel, it's kind of chalky, kind of dry, not a problem. It does come with a, it does come with some open off spoil in this baggie because it is just so dang viscous. You can hear it in there. And so it comes with a very like wet, oily, viscous conditioner that you can just, you know, similar to like make oil, just 
drown these things in to help, I guess, break them in and nourish them. It would be the point of that. So, you know, at 379 bucks, this is a definitely a good boot. If this was $500, I'd say that's way overpriced for, for what you're getting here. So RJK boots, a little overhyped. I think they are just a little overhyped, but that said, I think they are a very good boot company. They have a really cool heritage, really cool story. In this particular boot, this is not a fair representation of their entire brand. Once again, they have much more popular boot models. Yeah, they have their Super Duty boots, which do look like they're 100% worth the money. Those, those started around $575, and those are absolutely incredible. The Super Duties is probably what I'd go for. Nice tall shaft. They've got some made in Bison. Those have the raised arch and everything the raised heel, the logger heel, the safety toes. Those are definitely gonna be worth the money. These, on the other hand, these are just general everyday boots. Pretty generic, pretty cool pebbled tongue there. Pretty loose temper on that tongue, but that's okay. Uh, nylon laces, really nice robust speed hooks, which I only see the Pacific Northwest makers using. These do not cinch down on you. 360 degree stitch down welted with a single stitch. Quadruple stitched, quarter to the vamp. Very good quality stitches. And they also uh, stamp the size on the top of the shaft there. Pretty cool boots. Been getting a lot of buzz lately, I'd say for good reason. Once again, this particular model, I'm not super duper impressed by the 300X, but then again, that's not the purpose or the boot that I typically shop for. Not that I'm any sort of outdoorsman type logger type guy, but if I was gonna hop on a pair of JKs, it'd definitely be those Super Duties. Those are amazing. They also offer special winter boots, fire boots, custom boots, they do it all. Maybe I'll get around to getting some of those super duties one of these days, because those are those are really great. I'll leave a link to all the videos I referenced in the description below, as well as a link to this amazing denim jacket that I cannot put down. This is my Hiroshi Kato Stretch Selvage denim jacket, and uh, I'll leave a link to that as well. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on this. This is gonna be a small batch garment, so I don't know how long the stock is gonna remain. And also, special Dale's Leatherworks announcement. So on my website, dalesleatherworks.com, I started making my own belts. I have 15 straps that I'm making belts with. So this belt model is gonna be the stockade. And this quick release here is called the Marauder. Both of these belts are in the amazing English bridle. It's called Sedgwick leather from the Sedgwick Tannery in the UK. Some of the nicest belt leather I've ever seen or experienced in my life. Absolutely love this stuff. Available now on dalesleatherworks.com. It was about time I started making belts, so they're available there. I'll leave a link to my website in the description below. I also sell Kiltees cuffs. I'll also be offering English bridle leather cuffs. I do handmade bags, that's my specialty, as well as 100% uh, vegetable tan insoles. So check those out if you're interested. Anyways. Don't forget to subscribe because I do a lot of boot reviews if that's your thing. Uh, leave me a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. And anyways, I'm Dale of Dale's Leatherworks. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you all in my next video.